Hey guys, let's go ahead and get into these supplies. I have my permanent vinyl. Got some transfer tape, weeding tool, a squeegee, 8x10 acrylic in my sign holder. And then you'll also need an old mat and then this beauty here, the Cricut machine or any cutting machine. So what I am doing now is I'm on Google searching for a word search. You don't have to look for anyone in particular because this will just be your guide to make your own word search. We're not going to put this in Cricut and then cut this out. Next, I'm going to go to Google and find a heart. You can do a heart. You can do a flower. Any picture that you want to do or you don't have to do a picture but I like to do the hearts so here we are and next you want to go to Google and search paint swatches PNG this is gonna be the um, back of the sign where you are basically word searching the words that you're putting in for the customer download everything save it to your desktop and then move on into design space so we can get ready to upload everything starting with the word search we're going to upload this and we are going to take out the background i'm not going to take out these small pieces i'm just going to go ahead and crop this because again we are not using this to cut it out we're just using this to make our own word search we're going to go ahead and upload the paint swatch again this was a png so all i have to do is save it as a cut image and then move on to my heart. Now it's time to get started. So I've chosen the font I want to use, which is DIN Condensed. I've made this row of letters the smallest size that the first letter is in the word search. And I'm just copying everything that they have. So once you're done doing that, you want to go in and ungroup these words and start placing it letter by letter. Don't worry about if it's uneven or if the letters don't line up because we're going to fix that in just a moment. Just worry about going in and placing all of these on top of the other letter for this template that we have sitting behind it. Once you're done, you want to go ahead and remove that template, delete it, get it out of the way. And I'm going to go in and start putting in what I want my word search to say. So I'm going to do loving, caring, amazing, and strong. And so that you guys can see which ones I'm doing, I'm just going in and putting a different color. Um, that way, it'll make it a lot easier for you guys while you're looking at this. Now it's time to make sure everything is straight. So we're going to do it row by row. So when you select your row, go up to a line and hit center horizontally. And you're going to do that for each row. Once you're done with your rows, you want to go ahead to start with the columns, which is left to right. Go back up to a line and you're going to do center vertically. So this is going to make sure everything is lined up evenly. Once you're done with that, let's go ahead and grab a square to make your background. This is going to serve as your acrylic sign, which is 8 by 10. So of course you want to do 8 by 10 for your sizing. I'm going to drop the color down just a little bit so that I can see my black words when I put them on. So I'm going to start with my text at the top, which is going to be mom, you are in a nice purse of font with the heart. So with my mom, you are in the heart. The sizing is most times about 7.5 and for the height about 2.874. Um, when grouped together. Now this will vary depending on what words you're using, what fonts you're using, but that's just to give you an idea about how big to make that entire top part and then how big to make your word search itself. Um, while we're speaking about sizes, remember when you are making this sign, do not go all the way to the bottom 
because if you're going to put this on a stand, then that stand is going to cover the words and you don't want that to be done, especially when you've worked hard on this nice project and then you got to start over. So here I am. I'm just going in and moving these a little closer. I didn't like how they were all spread out. So I'm going to move it closer and I'm going to take one of those rows. I'm sorry, one of those columns completely off. It was just too long for me. So you can play with this. And I grouped it together, brought it in, sized it up. The sizing for the word search is 7.269 by 6.6. .6. Again, this will vary depending on what font you use, but this is a good starting point for you to do. And I'm going to copy and paste this word search to the side and get my swatches so that I can remember where I put my words at. So... You basically will just go in, put your swatches. You don't want them too long going off the sign itself. They don't have to cover the word completely. You see at the top, we're loving the G is slightly covered. It doesn't have to go all the way on each letter, guys. So now I'm going to weld my word search together. So that's all the black items. And I welded the mom and the heart. Now it's time to cut the vinyl. As you can see, I moved the word mom and the heart to the gold because these swatches need to be mirrored in order to match what you just did. If you cut these out and don't mirror it, then they're going to be flip side because we're going to put this on the back of the 8x10 acrylic and not on the front. So you need to mirror your swatches. Mirror, mirror, mirror your swatches, guys, okay? And of course, you're going to choose vinyl for your cut settings. Go ahead, let your Cricut machine cut out your vinyl. Now the next step is to weed. Y'all, that Amazon paper ain't no joke. I took that off in like two seconds. But yes, go to the description, grab the link. Then I'm going to put my transfer tape on top. Now it's time to lay everything down. I have an old Cricut mat behind me to help me line up everything. We are only going to take off the top layer of this 8x10 guys do not take off the back until you get to the back so i'm laying down my mom and my heart i always start from the top work my way down to the bottom make sure that you have your computer your laptop whatever standing up as a reference so that you can see how everything is being placed putting my you are directly under it taking it off and then for this word search i'm gonna take off the entire backing of this transfer tape but i'm gonna put it back on i just wanted to make sure everything was sticking to the paper and i'm gonna put it on all the rolls except for that very top one so as you see i didn't put it on the top one i'm gonna lay that down as my reference squeegee it rip that backing off make sure all the letters are Staying, drop it, and then I'm going to go in and just make sure everything is good to go. Flat. Take that off. All right, here's the front. We are going to put this on something that is clean. Uh, tissue paper is the best because you don't want to get it scratched up. We're going to take that mat off because now it's just basically us putting the swatches on the back side of the acrylic. So you need to take off that film on the back. If you don't, you're going to be mad. This is just me going in, placing each swatch where it belongs. Again, look at your reference. And guys, here is the finished product. Super cute, super easy project. You can use these for Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, any type of holiday actually.